Hello. In this tutorial, uh, we will going to see uh, the solid changing dimension in SIS and how we can use this uh, solid changing dimension uh, with all uh, its types. It has uh, three types. Uh, solid changing dimension uh, in SIS, it's, it is one of the components uh, of the toolbox, which is we can find it uh, here in uh, data flow and this component is used if you want to insert or update data records in dimension tables simply you can uh, capture the historical of your uh, data changing or uh, you can uh, adding uh, the records in other table like you know saving uh, a copy of that so we will going to see how this tabs it works and how you can use a solid change in dimension first i would like to show you here i have two columns that i create one it's called uh, the warehouse and the other one is where i will store uh, my data in case if anything happened to my uh, uh, original table uh, I will going to start with uh, the types and we will see each type what uh, its job and how it's reflected on my uh, second table or on my uh, backup table. I call it warehouse hist, like historical or backup, anything. So if I come here, here where I will going to select my uh, source table, which is the warehouse the original table and let me see now I selected uh, the first table and now I will going to configure the slowly changing dimension double click on it and press next here where you will going to select your the second table the table that you used as a backup or as historical table which I have here uh, warehoused and you have to select the common uh, column between the first table and second table so what I have here the product ID and this is where it's uh, use the uh, business key type press next and in this uh, option where you are going to see these all these types the first one is called the fixed uh, attribute uh, the slowly change dimension fixed attribute is used if we want not to change anything on my backup table or historical table so if any changing happen on the first table nothing will occur on the second table and for the changing attribute this is where if I have any changes happen on my first table any update if it's been inserted on the first table I will see the same records will be inserted on the second table which is the historical table and the historical attribute this is where it will for track for me the historical changes on the first table like in case any update is occurred on uh, the records on the first table I will see it will track for me the changes on the second table and I will show you guys how this will happen here I will going to choose the quantity column as as the column that in case any changes occur on this column I will see the historical or the changes will be occurred right here and I will start with a first one fixed attribute click next uncheck the field transformation keep this one enabled finish this it will occur automatically the first run 
will be inserting everything from first table into the second table and we will run it and then we will see next how we can use the slot changing dimension it runs I have six records here and now I will start work on all the types this is the start date and end date it will help me out on the third type or second type second type which is the historical type now I will going to update I have here the update query which is I am going to update my PC which is the quantity in a warehouse goes down into 150 so in this type uh, it's I will not see any changes will occur on the historical table or the second table it will occur only on the original table Let's execute it's been updated and if I see guys watch this one is 300 now it's 150 but the second table it is still has the same record so nothing is being changed on the second table we will going to jump to the first type this one is not called first this is a first and this second and this called its fixed attribute so now the other type the, the type one changing attribute which is any changes change all the matching records Press next next finish this one will be changed now let's do some changes here it's already 150 now in my original table i will say 200 so okay press okay here i see it 150 so it will be 200 this one is will supposed to be changed into 200 as well because the type one it's it will change uh the records based on the changes that occurred on the first table i'll see here see one record is being updated see guys the pc here change to into 200 and the same it's occurred on the second table into 200 now let's jump to the second type which is the historical type this is the same thing now I'll go to the historical go to next here you have two options either uh, if you want uh, to like track your uh, your changes into saying the current value uh, and when it's been ex expired or if you want to use which is this I prefer to create two columns like this one is this is the the beginning and this is the end of your value or of your records but what I did is I create two uh, columns one it tells me when it's been created and when it's been ended and uh, after uh, the last change so I have this start date this is the, the column that I create and the end date and the value it's the start time press next next finish I'll see the other uh, transformation will be published automatically now let's go here and I have already 
200 it goes down into 100 the quantity of the pc press ok now i will execute it Now, see guys, I have see what I have here. I have all they being changed because all they don't have the start date. It's supposed to be uh, have the start date, so that's why it's been. Uh, because I tried to all the types. If you are starting directly to the type 2, you will not having uh, doubled records. So now it will be affected on the second run. Since now this is 100 and this is the same 100, I will go back again, press OK, and let's see this one into 50 only. Now I will see the track uh, historical records since I have the start date already published. See guys, I have only one record has been has been inserted here. Now it's clear for you guys. See that was 100 before. It, Sorry, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There was 50. It's been inserted recently. Why this is not 50? Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is 50 right here. This is the original table. It's right here. The old record was 200. And this is the date that's been, uh, that's been changed which is the same as this one, the start, this one right here, the start date of 50 that's been published already. Okay, this, the second type, this is the second type is not gonna delete uh, the previous data, which is right here, I see the previous one was 100 uh, at this time, and it's been changed into 50, at this time and the 50 right here it's started right here which is I have the end date is nil if I change it into 10 this one will be 10 this one it will stays and I have another 10 right here with with changes uh, of the end date and the start date will be published here automatically so this is how we are used the slowly changing dimension I hope you guys uh, enjoyed watched my video and see you for next videos thank you